Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are jumping in again to actually start playing well. It's crazy, I know. What a what an insane, insane idea to play well. Crazy, I know, but we are gonna do it and we are going to play as um Bethany Forgotten. Uh let's have a look. Blue baby, Eve, Lazarus, Eve. Eden. I guess we could try and get Tainted Eden unlocked. That sounds fun. Give it a go. Try and get Tainted Eden. Tainted Eden I do not like as a character, but there you go. Ooh. Hive Mind and Chasm. Uh, is it called Chasm, this thing? I can't remember. Uh, I think it's Chasm. This thing's real good. Basically, you can destroy items, um, and every item you destroy gives you a 10% chance to fire a 2.6 times damage tier. It's pretty darn good. So basically, anytime we get trash, anytime we get items we just don't really care for, we can turn them into something pretty useful. Uh, and it maxes out at 10. So once we've got 10, the item is no longer useful to us, and we can switch it out for something else. And then obviously, Hive Mind, right now, completely useless, but has a lot of ways to enable it to be real good. Also as well, my stats. Pretty decently happy with my stats here. I think our stats are pretty good. But yeah, as for today's question of the day, as for today's question of the day, what is something that most people find gross or find, like, unnerving, disturbing, something like that that you really sort of like or enjoy? Do you know how, like, some people find, like, scratching on a chalkboard really bad, but for some reason some weirdos out there like it? What's your version of that? I don't actually know what mine would be. This is a, question, a rare question of the day that I don't have a particularly good answer to. But kind of an interesting room here that it's just, uh... These guys getting killed over and over. I suppose it's kind of like to make it hard to kill them. Kind of an interesting idea. There you go. Item room, item room. Where art thou? We've also got a hanged man card to start here as well, which is reasonably nice. Definitely don't mind a hanged man to start. Um, and Spelunker's hat. I will certainly, certainly take off the bat. Uh, I really like the ability to see further on the minimap, but also, obviously, being able to see secret rooms, at least once we have bombs to enable it, it's pretty good. Now, this is a perfect example of a room where we're going to turn a really trash item into something very useful for us, because we can turn this cube of meat into 10% um, chance to fire a 2.6 times damage tier, which is not great on its own, but far more valuable, because it will stack up and get wild eventually. I don't like the fact this guy's... Dashing like crazy. Um, also, this guy will give us a soul heart on death as well. Uh, he is blue, dabba dee, dabba die, which means soul heart for us. I like it. By the way, I also want to mention that I have not been replying to comments for a little while here. It's just overwhelming. There's so many now. <laughs> I really tried to reply to them all, but I am seeing them all. Don't worry. So I'll take this, and then I will do that. And that gives us a chance to fire. You see that blue tier there? Chance to fire those blue tiers. Now, we are trying to do beast mode here, so we will... Um, Try and remember that. I will try my best. But yeah, the fact that we can see one room ahead now is super nice. Oh, that was a really bad hit there. Really bad hit. Ooh, oh, Golden Penny in a small room is perfection itself. So much easier to collect. If we can get up to 15, I'd be super, super happy. But that's not going to happen, sadly. Uh, unfortunately, we are lacking keys. We have a tinted treasure room already, which I believe would be Hive Mind. Um... I'm not entirely sure if it might be Spelunker's hat, but I think it'd be Hive Mind. So we'll uh, we'll at least try and grab that if we can, if we can get the keys to enable it. But gosh knows if that'll actually happen or not. Don't like you being about. Good. Should creep there. This guy gives us a card. Uh, Aura gives us Bob's Rotten Head. Oh, is it Bob's Curse? I can never remember if he gives Bob's Rotten Head or Bob's Curse. I think it's Bob's Rotten Head, isn't it? Kind of a tricky bugger, to be honest. He spawns stuff, he moves around a lot. Bob's Rotten Head. Really, really, really good active, but not what we want right now. Two bombs is good, though, because that means access to secret rooms nice and easy. Also, we'll grab that real quick, because that is good for the slowdown effect. But yeah, those blue tiers coming out every now and again. It's going to be nice. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um... Secret room is nice, but so is all of this money. Yeah, that's a very large amount of money. Fool's Gold doing its thing there. There must be like a thing where Fool's Gold rocks have more of a chance to spawn next to other Fool's Gold rocks. Because sometimes you get that when it's a patch of just like tons of them. Still don't have a key for our item room here. 
Hopefully, we can get one here. Um, sadly not. We get a bunch of pills. Which they are the Tears Up variety. Okay. Okay. That was pretty awesome. I liked that quite a lot. Probably not going to get a chance to get into the Tainted Treasure Room here. Because shop and item room are important. Item room first, I think. Mustard Seed. Another real good item here. I'll take it. Gives us luck and a HP up as well. But so far, Chasm hasn't been all that useful. But yeah, this allows basically enemies that get killed um, to spawn as their lower down versions as a friendly. It can be really good. Like, really goddamn good. Extra bomb there. It's rather nice. We'll use that to get into our shop. And hopefully buy keys and such. We might actually be able to do this and hit the guy there as well. Yes, I did hit him. Buddy in a box, I'll take. And key, I'll take. And grab bag, I'll take. All of that was pretty good stuff. Cool. Okay, second secret room is down over here. We should go grab that as well. This dude's spawning quite a lot of extra spiders for me. A, another bomb. I'm really liking all these extra bombs we're getting right now. Very useful. Crack that open. And we get some golden nuggets. I can't remember how exactly this room works. Um, I'm going to push this over here. Next to you. These things are quite difficult to push. And get in there and then... Okay, no, that didn't work the way I thought it would at all. My bad. I thought blowing those up would uh, would give us some good stuff there. Sadly not. But again, we got the nickel at least. Something. Right. Keep this going. I don't know if I'm going to end up going back to my tainted treasure room if I get two keys. If I get three, I will. If I get two, I won't. Well, no. If I, if I pick up... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. If I have three total, I will. If I have two total, I won't. That's what I meant. It does mean we have to do the extra rooms here, though. See what I mean, though? Like, the, the downgraded forms there. That was a bad call by me, apparently. Oh, no. This guy just killed them all. Hey, so we've got two already. Need to be a little careful my health. Definitely going to go angel deal here. My health doesn't really speak uh, speak devil deal to me right now. But yeah, mustard seed is helping out a ton. Lots of friends. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with the tainted treasure room here. We do have petrified poops. I'm trying to pop these when I can. Unfortunately, a boss that I still don't really know how to beat, but he's got very low HP, so he's actually not that bad at all. But I always get hit by him. That is another item that I will scoop up, because five cards could be amazing, but it could also be bad. I'd rather just get the guaranteed value, and we'll keep on heading down. The guaranteed value is way, way, way better than the potential value. Even though some cards can be, like, insanely good. Good. You're an annoying little fella. Not too hard, luckily. Double chest, actually, for bombs. This is probably worthwhile. Sadly, no bombs. But we did get a key. Oh. I... Do you know... Troll bombs having, like, an arbitrary timer for how long it takes them to explode is such a massive additional troll. Like, I, I kind of walked over there like, oh, it's going to blow up before I get into the radius. It did not. Took a soul heart worth of damage for literally no reason. Oh, my God. Taking some buku damage right now. It's okay. We, we are playing well this time round. We are playing well. We are good at this game. We will not get hit any more on this floor. Oh, there, there's an additional soul heart, though. And there's a double luck penny. Oh, my God. This makes mustard seed even better, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it scales off luck, at least. I think we've got um, Strange Attractor on our uh, on our little little fella's attacks. No little, uh, what's it called? Buddy in a box. Oh, dude, that was kind of close. Yeah, Mustard Seed is putting in some work here. I like it. 
Back we go. Bombs for the secret room whenever we find them. We've got Hanged Man if we want to use that at some point. Drop bomb there, lovely. We've got a nice little army back there doing its thing. And then we got a jumper. This is a baby of some kind. I'm not sure what baby it is. Uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to crack this open and try and re-roll for something that I can see that is visually better. That is very good. Locust bombs, plus I think it's a chance on kill to get a locust as well, which I think are affected by hive mind, so that's kind of why I took it. Right, check this out. That's molding clay there, I'm pretty sure. She's real goddamn good. If I pick this up and then immediately suck it up. Okay, that did work. Good. Oh, no, no, it didn't. I got balls of steel there, though. I don't think that worked. I'm not sure. It, it, changed, it changed my card into a pill, but at the same time, it did also make the item disappear. So I'm not sure if that worked or not. Oh, there you go. That's hard mind popping off. But basically, my thinking here is um, taking molding clay um, at the end of this floor, if I can afford it, that is. Well, that definitely helps in that process. There you go. We can already afford it. Nice. So, yeah, it, it, we are still getting cards. Good. That did work. In fact, can we use this to get... Yeah, we can get a, a one pip charge there. Cool. It was only seven anyways, wasn't it, for the uh, the item. I don't think it would cost a lot. See all these locusts, though. This is beautiful. With Hive Mind, it makes it so much better. Right. Quickly bomb into here. We know any of these pills already. Just looking for a, a balls of steel or anything like that. Right. Boss time. It's Kingpin, unfortunately, but we should kill him pretty darn quickly. I've, I've locked myself in here. Unfortunately, that was a bad decision on my behalf. Pentagram, of course, we'll take. Um, and then I was hoping to use Chasm one more time before we left it. But I think we're just going to leave it as is now and take the uh, the molding clay. Oh, no, this is a abandoned box. This isn't what I thought it was at all. Okay, just use this. And that's little horn of which I'm going to then devour. <laughs> okay, pretty happy. Pretty happy. That's That wasn't the item I thought it was at all. But there you go. Right, down we go. I think this is going to be a reasonably qu quick run so far. Pop our sun card, why not? Do I really want to use two keys in those rooms? Because they can often be absolutely pointless. Good, good. Really got an interesting run going here. Just, just wish we had more health, but hopefully Angel Deal and stuff like that will sort that out later down the line. Pretty much nothing I could do to avoid that there. Small room like this with an explosive enemy. Not the not the most ideal of situations. We've now got four chasm charges. That's a 40% chance to fire 2.6 times damage shot. Real goddamn good. Do kind of want that, but I'll refrain. Got are speeding through the rooms right now. Um, that is yet another one that I think I'll just chasm. I'm doing it to a lot of items right now, but it's just the power that I'm getting from the, that item, from the effects, is just so much more powerful. Just making our damage so high. Double soul hearts. I will take both of said soul hearts. Thank you. I'm out of bombs now, which is problematic, but it does mean that I can take the reflected bomb now. And it'd be less of an issue to my HP. So I will do just that.
good. And then we can pop in here. And every time we bomb, we're creating more and more locusts as well, which is good for bosses and all sorts. Range, I guess, is the better one out of the two there. Not, not a great choice, I'll be honest. Yeah, you can see our damage is kind of crazy now. And then here, um, allows you to use your active item without having enough charge, resulting in negative charge. Having negative charge reduces your movement speed and shot speed. It's actually pretty decent for us to take that, because it means we can suck up more items, potentially. If we don't have the charges for it. Or if we get another active that's better suited to that idea, we can do that too. More damage, lovely. Yeah, you're absolutely cream crackered, my guy. And we get, that's a pretty good item. And in here, we bomb you just to get a charge. Although we could use that active anyways without the need for a charge, but no need taking the stats down. And then we take, oh, that did it both, that did both of them. I was wondering if it would do, do them both. So I think we're on, I think we're now on seven charges, six or seven. I think we're on seven charges. I can't, I'm not exactly sure. We're doing well, though. Doing well. It's funny, because we have so few items, but it's working out quite well. Okay. Thank you for starting this for me. I mean, I'm kind of glad that you did, because it got an item that I don't want, which means I can chasm it once again. Um, all nutritional rooms have angel deals uh, for sale instead of normal items. Potentially kind of interesting. It would be for sale though, which is risky. I'll take it. And then I can use that there. Slight speed down and stuff, but that's fine. There's the money rolling in. I don't know if it's going to count for this floor, you know, this trinket. Because the uh, the item room may have already generated. I don't exactly know how it works in terms of floor generation. Calm down hand. Ow. Our luck is helping us get more chests and stuff, which is quite nice. Hanged man, that's real nice. It did work, awesome. We can get the prism here, very happy with that. And we'll take the hanged man here. It means more money for the next floor. Uh, ooh, don't quite understand this room right now. Doesn't matter, whatever, I don't care. Didn't really understand that room very well. Right. Oh, there was a fly there I didn't see. God damn it. Quickly to, like, squeeze our head in here. Nothing I want. I want to get as much out of this uh, card as we can. Okay, we didn't really get much out of that card, but we got a bit of money at least. A little bit of money at least. Just need more HP now, really. Blackheart's nice, there you go, that's more HP coming our way. Right, keep our distance here, but you can see now we're, we're firing almost exclusively blue shots. In fact, I think we are shooting exclusively blue shots. I don't think we need to use Chasm anymore. I think we're all good. I think, I think we've maxed out Chasm. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for the same card again. It's, it, the benefits of having only one uh, reverse card unlocked, I guess. I think I've only got one unlocked. Still, pretty good stuff. Holy hell. Don't want Judas' tongue, thank you.
Yeah, we got a lot of damage now. Which means that our locusts are doing crazy good damage. I think they do three times your damage. Although, actually, no. They won't be doing crazy good damage because our extra tier damage hasn't affected our actual tier damage stat. It's just a modifier on each tier that's fired. It doesn't affect our actual stats. Still, good damage regardless. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm actually going to take that this time because I'd rather just have the HP. Um, and then we just go to the next floor, I think, with decent money and try and find our fool card. We've got another tainted treasure room here. We've actually got the keys for it this time as well. Lost our black heart already. Don't actually need to pick up the, the, the coin straight away, so let's actually take advantage of getting everything killed first and then come back for the uh, coins. Ah, damn, we just missed this room. We got a few enemies killed, but we didn't really get the full shebang. Right. Trinity Shield is not terrible. These guys can stay the hell away. Humbling Bundle, it's not insanely good for us now, but... Why not? Oh, wait. Secret room right there. I didn't even see that. We've done boss rushes this guy. Yeah, we have. Good. The sticky pennies. All right, we know where the boss is. Good. We've seen our item room. We've basically seen everything we need to see. We just make our way over towards that tinted treasure room, I think. And we are golden. Look, Penny there. Thank you. Again, don't really think that room's that worthwhile. I want to check out my tainted treasure room, though, because that could be interesting. I think it's going to be Hive Mind still, but I still want to check. Because I don't actually know what the Hive Mind alt does. And it could be really good. It is Hive Mind. Um, friendly flies no longer attack autonomously and um, aut autonomously and can deal damage multiple times. Flies launch themselves in the direction you're firing. Spiders will swarm towards nearby enemies. It's weird, but why not give it a go? Why not give it a go? If it works with locusts, it's going to be good. If it doesn't, I've just basically halved my damage for no reason. But still, something intriguing. Why not? Give, why not try it? Oh, we need to find our full card still. That was close. I almost forgot about that. Very, very nearly forgot. There it is. Good, good, good. Right, over to the boss we go. Just going to miss boss rush, sadly. The detour there kind of ruined that for us, but oh well. So do these not explode anymore? Oh no, they do. Okay. Missed it by like a second as well. Frustrating, but it is what it is. Did get an injury here. Got the wafer as well. Awesome. And oh, I don't even have a bomb. I was going to bomb that and suck it up just in case Chasm wasn't at full charge. But still. Right. Down we go. Um, Yes. Thank you. <laughs> that was really nice. Three extra soul hearts there. Pretty pricey, but yeah, if you got the money for it, why the hell not? I love the noise this makes. Oh shit. Didn't expect him to do that. 
having the wafer now with this much HP is very, very nice. Oh my god, I just realised it's all these blackheads guys that are skulking about. Kind of hard to kill. Oh dude, these guys are funky looking. I don't know why the knockback is so crazy sometimes. Token there. I guess it's good to keep that in mind. Five room doesn't really do much for us on this floor. I suppose we'd get an extra item room out of it if we really wanted. Red fire almost caught me off guard there. Didn't really think about the fact that I'd be, uh, I'd be dealing with the need for money here, but question is, do I want Spirit Sword? I'm not entirely sure if I do. Because it, I think it would ruin my chasm shots, I think. I don't know. It's a tricky one. Maybe I'll just take the random item, whatever the random item was. Ow. Yeah, let's just take the random item. And it's vanilla wafer, which... <laughs> don't really think it does anything when you already have the wafer, but... Hey, her. Pisces. Pisces is nices. Going invisible little freaks. Turns all red hearts into rotten hearts. Yeah, I think that's worth taking for now. Because we have um thingy, don't we? Actually, no, it's not, it's not worth it. Like rotten hearts are good on normal runes, but they're not at all good in the beast fight. Strange room. Look at that knockback, it's crazy. I don't know why it does that sometimes. It's boss time. Well, bo I say boss time, it's next floor time. Right, we should be able to speed through this reasonably well. It's gone. Just get over it. Oh, really? You give me one of these guys? This enemy is terrible. I don't have bombs either to escape. This this dude is like one of the worst enemies you can possibly get. He's so difficult. Has a lot of HP. Okay, we need, we need to go back and get those bombs. Bombs are very valuable for getting out of shit rooms. Oh, I forgot to give myself a god. I, I forgot to drop myself a trinket. I'm just gonna give myself it. It's fine. I'm stupid and forgot. It's fine. It's content, baby. You guys will forgive me. Ow. You see what I mean about, like, this item being nuts? Mustard Seed plus a Cultist? Nuts. He just starts reviving everything, it's awesome. I, I don't even know what's going on right now, I don't know what's enemy and what's not. Goddamn though. How do I how do I give myself a cracked key? Um spawn cracked No Key uh red I, I can just give myself the red key I guess Give Yeah that's that's the easiest way of doing it Another one of these guys Like I said, they're fucking horrible. Ow. 
Hey, we got one of these Rage Creep guys. Nice. Extra brimstoning power for us. I like it. God damn. One cultist and the game just absolutely freaks out with mustard seed. I forgot how crazy it is. Hard to even comprehend what's going on on screen. It's okay though. Our army will save us somehow. It at least stops us from getting hit as much. Don't sit on my cultist, boy. Good. Don't really know where I'm meant to be going here. This is a bit of a weird flaw. Dude, those creep dudes. Crazy. Oh my god. Treasure map? How have I gone the wrong way here? Where have I missed this? I'm confused. Back we go. What the hell? I'm really confused. Mr. Dolly? Mr. Dolly's pretty damn good for us there. There it is. Have we lost our cultist? Yeah, I think we have now. The things actually start dying now. Sad times. God, things are so hard to kill. Um, it could be here. Not sadly. Getting hit a lot. Don't know by what. It's very, very hard to follow anything that's going on right now. Another thing hit me. Oh, there's this little ghosty boy. That's what it is. Where the hell are we going here? I actually find it harder to know where I'm going with the mapping. Normally, I'm so good at figuring out which way to go. Dude, I'm getting hit so goddamn much. At least that, like, little Grim Reaper dude has managed to stay alive this whole time. Really hate this yellow dude as an enemy. They have some annoying ass attacks. Like that. You kill them and they just fucking dive at you at a thousand miles an hour. Great, another one. And then it starts doing this bullshit. Just die. God. There's so many little dips back there as well. Look at that. This will be the room right, I think. Yeah. Okay. We got through that all right. We've still got a lot of friends uh, about. Don't know how useful they'll be, but we've got them. For bombs is good. For bombs is good. They are copper bombs.
Right, crack this open. Good, good. See what my might and we get. Ah, yes, perfect. Give us a few balls of steels. Now I'll be happy. None? How dare you. Right, boss time. Oh, we got bed bug as well, nice. Dude, Locust, how dare you. Oh, stressful, but we're getting there. We're doing good damage to him. God, failing so hard at this right now. Holy hell. It's like the worst fucking dogma fight I've ever had. I've got the wafer and I'm still getting absolutely destroyed. That was that was pathetic. That attack's just very annoying though. I forgive myself. Still got hit there, lovely. It's okay, he's dead. We get some health back at least here. Not really doing great damage, unfortunately. It's all right, but it's not amazing. I think if we had Hive Mind, we'd be better off. I think I think this Hive Mind all isn't amazing. It's reasonably quick, actually. It's not too bad. And I say, because if these locusts were actually exploding like they should be, I think they'd be doing a lot more damage. Oh, don't know why I didn't react to that. Second phase, good. Managed to push that ball of flies into the abyss. I have no idea where it went. Oh, nope, it was in the abyss. Still, still like, sitting in the lava, chilling. Okay, things are going reasonably well here. We've still got quite a lot of health left. Good amount of locusts here. Ah, damn it, my locusts blew up right on top of me. Seems to be my main way of taking damage right now, doesn't it? A hey, second phase already, nice. Tried to use my shield there. It's not super reliable though. There you go, we got him. Nice. One more fella to go. Then it's the big man himself. Shouldn't be too bad. This guy normally has like lower HP than the other guys from my experience, so hopefully we should kill him a little bit faster. Ow. Keep exploding myself. I, I don't know why the locusts seem to not explode and then explode on me randomly. Or maybe it's the fire mine shots that are causing the explosion from my little buddy in a box. Could be that, actually. Yeah, I think it is, you know. I got him. Right, we've got 
seven hits left. We should be able to do the beast with seven hits, right? Especially when we've got nine bombs that are all going to spawn more locusts as well. Music ramps up quite a bit. Trying to use bombs, but the goddamn stalagmites have been a pain in the ass. So many up top rather than below. I don't remember which one's stalagmite, which one's stalactite. I forget. Flip over in a second, anyways. There you go. All out of bombs. This is just chill time now. Fight out the end. I don't know why they made this last phase so goddamn chill. I guess it's just like a victory lap part. There you go. Beast is dead. We finally got a win under our belt. I feel happy. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.